concerns. Sounds like maybe a little more addressing is in order here. I don't think there were too many people hanging around outside tonight with that storm. No, I didn't know what that was at first. I looked up and I was like, what is that? Oh, those are storms. I haven't <laughs> wow. seen those in a while. And yeah, we kind of need some more. Yes, right. We need some more and we'll get some more. Here's a look at what's going on right now. Things are dying off for us at this point. But if you look to the west of Los Lunas, we do still have some thunderstorms out there. These are going to dissipate throughout the night, and the clouds are going to clear out during the overnight hours. Tomorrow, relatively quiet, and then it gets interesting as we head throughout the rest of the week. We'll get to that in one second. 50s and 60s to the north. Albuquerque at 70 degrees, 79 TRC and 72 in Alamogordo. Looking at the satellite and radar here, we had some showers just pushing across, especially the northern half of the state for today. And eventually we fired some here in the Albuquerque area this evening that stuck around for an hour or two. Not too bad for us. Some heavy rain in spots out there. And you know, the monsoon is not supposed to show up for another four weeks to the day for our official start date. But as we head throughout the rest of this week, it's going to get interesting out there. We're going to set up low pressure to our west, high pressure to our east. That's how the monsoons work. And then they push moisture up into the state. You add the heat of the day, and we fire up thunderstorms. That's exactly what's going to happen for us starting on Wednesday and lasting possibly even into the weekend here. So it's not that everybody's going to get rain every day. That's not going to happen. But you know how the monsoons work. The spot stuff jumping its way around here looks like a pretty good shot for us. You know, temperatures recently have been sky high while moisture's been pretty low. Well, we're going to see a bit of a reversal start on Wednesday. Temperatures will stay down lower and the moisture will go up quite a bit. So that'll give us a better chance to start to fire off some more of those storms as well. When we have the moisture to support the storms, we do pretty well. Take a look at the temperatures here recently in the 90s. Well, as we push into Friday, we're going to end up with temperatures for the most part across most of New Mexico in the 70s. So that's part of the evidence of what we're going to be dealing with here. As far as who gets what, Tuesday will be relatively quiet out there. We're not going to see a whole lot of action. But by Wednesday, Day. We're going to see western storms as we work our way into Thursday. Western and central sections will get into the act. And by Friday, eastern New Mexico could be added to the mix, too. And some of those storms out to the east by Friday could end up being pretty intense here. So we're going to watch those as well for you. But you get the impression here. It starts Wednesday in the west and then eventually just migrates across the state by Friday. So this could be a very good setup for us. One thing we have to watch, obviously, with these storms, we do get lightning strikes and we could get some ignition in dry areas. Hopefully we'll get enough rain to offset that though. 79 Las Vegas, 81 in Taos, 74 in Red River and 88 in Santa Rosa. Back toward the south and west temperatures in the 80s and 90s tomorrow. Mainly partly cloudy skies for just about everybody. Spot showers possible but much better chances start on Wednesday. 88 Roswell, 71 in Cloudcroft, high 70s Cedar Crest, Sandia Park and low 80s Estancia and Moriarty here in the Albuquerque area. We will top out with our temperatures in the 80s, high 80s, really. 88 downtown, 86 in the foothills, and 87 in Bernalillo. There's your Santa Fe seven-day outlook. Increasing clouds by Wednesday and scattered showers begin by Thursday. Albuquerque, we're looking at that as well. Probably a few more clouds Wednesday and then the scattered storms Thursday and Friday. If things work out right, we could even see a shower by Wednesday. Right now, not looking that likely, but let's see how it ends up shaking out. Even for a fair-weather person like me, that scattered storms looks good. I know. It's nice know? to take the edge off the heat yeah. in the afternoon, too. All right. Vans up next for sports.